the most legendary crime of all time, Gads Hill train robbery. Do polite robbers exist? Though that may sound bizarre, robbers with manners actually existed. Then, have you heard of the Gads Hill train robbery? This robbery is the most legendary and successful crime in history. Stay tuned and find it out in this video. If you're curious of who are the polite robbers we've mentioned before, they are none other than the James Younger Gang. This gang was notoriously known for their robberies on banks, stagecoaches, trains, and individuals. After their numerous successful bank robberies, the James Younger Gang's next ties were trains. Train robberies are better than the banks since the locations were remote, far from the lawmen's eyes, and the money they could get was more bountiful. Adair, a city of Iowa, was the first location the James Younger Gang conducted the first train heist in 1873. As expected, the gang successfully bagged $6,000 in cash. However, their money didn't last long. Hence, they created history by robbing the Gads Hill train. This time, the gang is stronger and more vicious due to the additional members, the three oldest Younger Brothers. A year after the gang's first train robbery, the Gads Hill Station in Missouri was attacked by its five armed men. The townspeople were held hostage inside the store and proceeded to rob the store owner. The gang waited for the 4 o'clock train but it was an hour late. For the train to halt, the gang lit a bonfire on the train tracks and waved a red flag. Since the train engineer and the conductor perceived the red flag as danger, the conductor immediately jumped from the train to observe. However, he was held hostage by one of the gang members. After that, the other train crew members were ordered to get down. The gang members proceeded to their objective. Some of the members were left to guard the train crew while the remaining gang members robbed the train safe and passengers. However, not all passengers were robbed. Before continuing, we would really appreciate a like to this video. If you also want to see similar content in the future, consider subscribing and activating the notification bell. Thank you for your support. Now, let's go on. Women and working class passengers were spared. To determine the workers, the gang made sure to assess the passengers' hands, sparing the callous ones. But what shook the members was the gang's politeness and manners. They would bow to the ladies and pat the children's heads. Then after that, the members shook the hands with the engineer and reminded him to stop whenever he saw a red flag. Then, a member left a telegram that recounts all the events that happened so that the newspaper would publish an authentic and correct version of the robbery. All five members, Jesse James, Frank James, Cole Younger, Jim Younger, and John Younger, escaped successfully, carrying a total of $12,000 stolen cash. Due to this robbery, Pinkerton's National Detective Agency hunted the gang down. However, two of the agents who tried to pursue the gang members were shot dead. However, Alan Pinkerton, the agency's founder, launched a raid on Jesse and Frank's house fatally wounding Jesse and Frank's 8-year-old brother and their mother. With that, public support was showered to the James family. After all that, many terrible things happened during this mission, forcing Pinkerton to cease operation. With $12,000 cash and no lawmen after them, the James Younger Gang was truly successful on this one. If you want to see the continuation of this video, click the following link for more fantastic content.